We're here at uh, TechCrunch Disrupt here with CNET. And who are you? Uh, my name's Dave Starling. I'm the CTO at CNET. So it says here, transforming your employees into your film crew. Transforming your fans into your film crew. What does it mean? How does it so work? We, we provide a video collaboration platform. So collaboration platform. So we're, we're all about allowing brands and organizations to enable uh, a film crew based on their existing communities. So if you're a large bank who's got a quarter of a million employees around the world, um, how do you um, engage those people? How do you get their opinions, their feedback without sending out a film crew to 76 different countries? It's a costly endeavor, um, but they've all got mobile phones. They've all got something to say. So our app and our platform allows them to tap into that community, capture the video that they want to uh, tell, and then use that can you see how it looks? Yeah, absolutely. So, so this is a web-based and app-based. Yeah. So we have a we have our app, which. Um, so we have our app, which basically gives you a script. So this is one around the Great North Run that the BBC had, and it's basically asking you with a script and a shot list to record what you're doing throughout the day. Nice. Now when I record that, what will happen is I get a filming guy and then I can record and I'm limited to a time that is set by the video producer. Wow. So I can't record more than the video editor or producer wants. So that video goes up and it's uploaded. And then there's some kind of a producer somewhere who edits it together? So what we have then is our... Or is it automatic? Yeah. It's, it's all automatic and then uh, what we have is... Thank uh, you. Um, yeah, the, the Wi-Fi is not so fast. Yeah, it's not great now. So what, what happens is the studio is basically the place where all of your video comes in. It's automatically analyzed, so we run object recognition on it. We run uh, audio transcription and sentiment analysis. Um, so what you can do is then say, right, I want to find out of my bank of, let's say, 100 hours worth of footage, I want to find people who look happy, people who look sad, people who look angry, and I want to find out what they're saying. So I can search for happy people who say hi, and then that will give me a list of all the videos that have come in. Yeah. You can figure out if they're happy or sad. Basically, once we know that there's a face in the video, we can figure out if they're smiling, what their eyes are like, if their eyebrows are raised, do they look shocked. Um, so on that, we can have a confidence level to say, okay, we think that's 75% happy. Um, so then all of that content is then in the studio, available for the editor to use. They can search it, find the right bit for their story, and then tell it. I would recommend all these, these, uh, all these people to send out the little cable you connect to the headphone jack to transform it into a professional quality microphone because all the smartphones don't have so good microphone. Or if you've got iPhone headphones and you've got an embedded mic, just clip the mic to your lapel and then it works a lot better than the embedded mic. Okay, but uh, do you have to, can you hide it? Yeah, you can, you can just clip it here and it will hide in your lapel. So any, any uh, of these that have a built-in mic? Yeah, just fold it, use a paper clip or something, hair clip, and it will work a lot better than the inbuilt mic. So is this live? People are using it? People are using it. We've, uh, we've worked with over 100 brands. Um, we have um, organizations like HSBC, Rolls-Royce, the BBC, NBC Universal using it. Uh, they're using it to produce videos that are both internal and external, um, and they're producing a lot of content. So 100 brands already? Yeah. How long have you been here? Uh, so we'll be three in January 2017. Are you here at the TechCrunch Disrupt for the startup competition? We are. We're, um, we made it through to the final. Yeah, we just done our pitch. Um, so we find out in a few hours if we've won or not. So you might win. Hopefully. And uh, so what, what's been going on here at TechCrunch Disrupt? Did you meet a bunch of uh, potential So we've met customers? all sorts of people. We've met, um, we've met students, we've met VCs, we've met potential clients. People who've just got interesting things to say, um, you know, a, a real mix of people. It's been really interesting. Can you just click on a button, put it on YouTube? Uh, yeah, you can. Are you, you also host it? Uh, we can host. We can um, allow you to share and distribute and edit your content in our studio, and then send it out to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, 
wherever you want. Nice. There's one thing I wish I had uh, with my YouTube is get uh, my fans to help me write the titles and descriptions for the videos before I publish. That's the biggest work for me. Yeah. It's, uh, is there any way you can help in getting that done? Uh, well, there are. I mean, there are um, services out there specifically for audio captioning. Um, I can't remember any off the top of my head, but we do that. We pull out the audio yeah. and then transcribe it ourselves. All right, but what I need is a summary. Oh, okay, so a content. Yeah, uh, not something we do right now. We need an AI. We need AI. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, 4K, it works. Uh, yeah, 4K works. Um, we haven't done 360 yet, um, but we we might look at it. You could have a 360 camera on people's heads. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Uh, what's the price? Um, the business model, the business model is, is subscription based um, and for um, a typical subscription it starts at around £5,000 per month, £5,000 per month um, and then with that you will also get your own branded white label app, white label app. So uh, that's for a big corp, corporation, so typically you don't we have don't a deal, small tire? We don't, we typically deal with organisations of no fewer than 10,000 employees. 